In this video, we are going to learn about what is supercharging and turbocharging process of internal combustion engine. The supercharger is an air compressor which is used to force more charge into internal combustion engine to get more power. This increases pressure of air fuel mixture and supply at higher pressure than atmospheric pressure. The supercharger is fitted before the inlet wall of engine cylinder so that air can compress the supercharger and allow it to force into engine cylinder by the intake wall. The power to drive supercharger is comes from engine crankshaft by belt, gear, shaft or chain. The greater mass flow rate provided more oxygen to support combustion in engine cylinder. Supercharging process is used to increase engine power, efficiency, torque by compressing air in multi stages for increasing quantity of air, pressure and temperature. The turbocharger is a centrifugal compressor which is powered by turbine. The turbine converts engine exhaust power and kinetic energy into rotational power which is in turn used to drive the compressor and compressor deliver compressed air which allow to force into engine combustion chamber. The greater mass flow rate provides more oxygen to support combustion. Here engine's volumetric efficiency can be improved by increasing the intake density. Now we will discuss differences between supercharger and turbocharger. Supercharger draw power from the engine by belt, where turbocharger extract power from exhaust gases. Cost of supercharger is less than turbocharger. And supercharger are basically compressors, where turbocharger consists of both turbine and air compressor mounted on same shaft. Supercharger is less efficient as compared to turbocharger. And supercharger are suitable for engines with smaller displacement, where turbocharger are suitable for engines with higher displacement. The maintenance of supercharger is easy as compared to turbocharger. And supercharger start working as soon as engine start. But turbocharger won't start operating until sufficient amount of exhaust gases are produced.